The greatest mystery of the world's eighth wonder will be discussed today, which will be quite intriguing for mystery hunters. We referring to the fantastic Amber Room. It was previously regarded as the world's eighth wonder and whose current whereabouts is one of the art world's biggest mysteries. The room that once signified peace was seized by Nazis and subsequently vanished forever. Adolf Hitler's Nazis seized 600,000 works of art from across Europe during World War II. By the conclusion of the war, billions of pounds worth of art had been dispersed to the four winds. While some stolen art has been restored to its original owners, many others remain unaccounted for, including a rare collection of magnificent amber panels known as the Amber Room which is the most precious thing ever seized by the fascist state. While many Americans connect Amber with the dinosaur DNA case in 1993's Jurassic Park, the golden, jewel-encrusted Amber Room, which was created of many tons of the gemstone, has enchanted Europeans for generations. Amber, which is recognized for its inherent warmth and ability to reflect light, created a kaleidoscope variety of gold, orange, and copper colors in the room. The chamber was a gift to Peter the Great in 1716 to celebrate peace between Russia and Prussia, but its fate was far from serene. Nazis stole it during World War II, and the amber panels, which had been put away in boxes, vanished in the closing months of the war. The room, which was designed and built for the monarch of Prussia in 1701 by German and Danish artists, had gold-plated walls of amber mosaic adorned with paintings and mirrors. It was first shown at Charlottenburg Palace, the residence of King Frederick William of Prussia. The room was conceived by German Baroque sculptor Andreas Schluter and built by Danish amber artisan Gottfried Wolfram, making it really international cooperation from Russia to Prussia. On a tour, Peter the Great appreciated the room, and in 1716, Frederick William I, King of Prussia, handed it to Peter as a gift, solidifying a Prussian-Russian friendship against Sweden. The Amber Room was brought to Russia in 18 big boxes and displayed as part of a European art collection at the Winter House in St. Petersburg. The room was transported to the Catherine Palace in Pushkin, known as Tsarskoye Silo, or Tsar's Village by Serena Elizabeth in 1755. Using extra amber brought from Berlin, Italian designer Bartolomeo Francesco Rastrelli reconfigured the room to fit into its new, wider area. The room spanned around 180 square feet after further 18th century restorations and sparkled with six tons of amber and other semi-precious stones. The amber panels were covered with gold leaf and researchers estimate that the room was worth $142 million in today's money at the time. The amber area served as a personal meditation chamber for Serena Elizabeth, a meeting room for Catherine the Great, and a trophy room for amber collector Alexander Kanuovertai. There was looting and a botched attempt to rescue the amber room. As World War II came to a conclusion, Soviet officials ordered Anatoly Kuchimov to St. Petersburg to inventory, the remaining Romanov-era palace's riches. He had lived in the city during the outbreak of the war, and as a young museum curator, he had been charged in 1941 with packing up as much of the art in the palaces as possible and transporting it to central Russia, where it would be safe from the Germans. The Amber Room was attempted to be dismantled by Kuchimov and his team, but they were stopped after fracturing a panel. Instead, they hid it behind a fake front and wallpaper, hoping the Nazis would ignore it. Kuchumov swiftly realized that the reports were accurate when he returned to the Catherine Palace. The Nazis had discovered the room and dismantled it. He proceeded to Konigsberg Castle, which was mainly in ruins due to a massive fire ignited by Red Army artillery during the siege last days. Kuchumov makes an attempt to locate the missing gem. Kuchumov discovered ashes and pieces of amber panels in one of the castle's chambers, but he wasn't persuaded they were the Amber Room's ruins. He began his quest for the missing panels with the help of Soviet government resources, a search that would endure decades. Kuchumov died in 1993, but Catherine Scott Clark and Adrian Levy, co-authors of The Amber Room, the untold story of the greatest hoax of the 20th century, 
discovered portions of his diaries and notes in 2004, rebuilding the Amber Room. The Amber Room became a symbol for the Russian people as the Cold War developed, says art historian Konstantin Akinja. The Soviet authorities used it as propaganda to emphasize the significance of the country's World War II casualties. As a result, the communist government decided to reconstruct the Amber Room from the ground up in 1979. The project's designers had just a few remains of the original to work with, a box of relics from the room, and 86 black and white photographs shot shortly before World War II. Hundreds of artists and craftsmen set out to learn the long-forgotten traditions of amber cutting. The rebuild, like the original, became entangled in financial troubles. The project was put on hold once the Soviet Union fell apart. It was restarted in the late 1990s and finished in 2003, due in part to a $3.5 million grant from Ruegas, a German energy firm. The new chamber was dedicated by Russian President Vladimir Putin and then-German Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder to commemorate St. Petersburg's 300th anniversary. A Cursed Room the Amber Room Curse is another strange element of this narrative. Many persons who were connected to the room died unnecessarily. Take, for example, Rode and his wife, who died of typhus as the KGB investigated the room. Or General Gusev, a Russian intelligence official who died in a vehicle accident after discussing the Amber Room with a journalist. Or, most ominously, Amber Room seeker and former German soldier Georg Stein, who was assassinated in a Bavarian woodland in 1987. After the war, several men and women made contradicting claims and obfuscations regarding the Amber Room's final known location, deepening the mystery of its locations. The Amber Room mystery, which is still unresolved today, continues to entice treasure hunters and art historians. Stay tuned for more next time. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications for new videos.